Why do so many spawn? Why do so many spawn? Ugh. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm pretty excited to be playing this zombies map. God, just look at this loading screen. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed it already, we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3, fully remade into COD Zombies with a happiest day Easter egg we can do. Oh my God, the phone. It's got my little dude. Oh, look at this. Hello, zombies. What's up? I really like the custom HUD. I think it's the same as in FNAF 1 and 2. There were other maps for the other FNAF games that I have. I played the first one. I didn't play FNAF 2. But this one is far more in-depth. Apparently, it has, like, Doom weapons, which is just ridiculous. Well, I don't know which door we're going to go through first, but I tell you what. I'll buy Quick Revive. Look at that. Freddy. Oh, that's creepy. It's nice because the only time you can really free roam in FNAF is in fan games that basically allow you to. So, you know, seeing the office from the other side is pretty cool. Apparently, the first step of the Easter egg is very simple. It's just turn on the power, which I love. What is that? Oh, double points at the end of the round, but I'll forgive it because this is one sick looking power up. It's like spirally aesthetic to it. It looks awesome. Just have a look at these, uh, the paintings on the, what, the drawings? Got Chica and Bonnie. Bonnie looking cute as ever. Uh, I should actually buy a gun. I'm gonna buy the RK7. This is the exit, so I mean, we'll go out there. Yeah, we'll just get some, uh, some double point A's. Looks like we can only spawn in this one window, which is good. I love how this flipping phone call is still going on. All right, there we go. Got an insta-kill. Let's open up the door. What's up? My arms are very blue. Holy. Am I wearing like a hazmat suit? Oh, that looks sick. So yeah, this map's made by Deadshot. Hello, double tap. What's up? Got a Sorg. It looks like we got Black Ops 4 weapons. Kind of fits the vibe. I, I always try ladders, even though I know 90% of the time I can't go up them. Oh yeah, we have an insta-kill. Let's get some knives. And hopefully not a new... Oh my god. Ooh, jibba, bubba, jibba. I actually tried recording this map. I want to say it was about a year ago. But for whatever reason, I had a skill issue and I just never revisited it. I think I downloaded like round seven and I was just like, eh, I'm not feeling recording today and never came back to the map. Not because it was bad, just because I guess I didn't have the... Uh, the energy. Max ammo? Got some kind of a pumpkin up there. I don't know what that's for. This is obviously a very Halloween-y themed map, but hey, spooky season is every season. All right, what we got going on over here? Hello, some kind of a barn. A TV? What is that? There's a tiny little action figure thing there. <laughs> I recognize it from somewhere. Stamina up over here as well. Another door. What's up? We've got police car. Pack-a-punch. How have I found everything except power? Why do I do this every map, no matter what? <laughs> uh, oh, well, let's pick up a Tommy gun. <laughs> Jigsaw. Oh, that's sick. My favorite horror movie series. Ooh, Juggernog over here. Hello. Sprit... Spring trap next to the power. Oh, okay, that's actually terrifying though. Look at this guy. Oh, hello. And I'm not paying attention to the zombies. Okay, the map's not quite as big as I thought. I like it. I mean, it's fitting to actual FNAF 3. Fazbear Fruits, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Can my brain just focus on one thing at a time, please, instead of everything at once? <laughs> it's fine. We're good. We're Gucci. We're not going to die, surely. Not going to have a repeat from one year ago when I die on round seven or whatever it was. I think first order of business is going to be to buy Jug because it makes sense. As somehow I'm almost dying. I like the Tommy gun's not as strong as I remember it for round five. I'm just going to get the nuke. Screw it. Yeah, buy Jug because apparently I need it on round five. So why is there a three on this? I remember seeing something on the, the Steam workshop about this map beware the numbers i don't know what that means hello pizza i'd love some pizza right now even though i have pizza like all the time so this is counting down i don't know why i should beware the numbers but i'm kind of scared now can i just say this cornfield looks amazing this phd machine looks sick the lighting is just top notch amazes me that like two or three people worked on this map oh this is a cool looking minigun I recognize it from another map, but I don't know which. I'm going to quickly go and get Quick Revive. And we can actually go through the, the building, so why not? What's up? Mule kick? A little cupcake? That's cool. Oh, look, it's Foxy. Probably my favorite animatronic. Another cupcake? Are they going to be, like, shootable? Hello, Bonnie. What is up? So the first step of the Easter egg, apparently we interact with a Balloon Boy poster that I'm not seeing. Is it in here, perhaps? Another cupcake over here. A little marionette plushie gonna kill the zombie real quick oh here we go hey we got it mystery box is in here too normally i'd get the box but i'm actually gonna i'm gonna run out because we can buy double tap which is you know big damage boost me yes likey whoa zombie with pumpkin head hello 
and it dropped a... Oh, I lost 40 points. Interesting. So pumpkin zombies give you either a good thing or a bad thing. Part of me worries I'm going to actually go down if I use those. So another marionette plush. Probably for the music Easter egg. Oh, it looks like step two through five can be done in any order. Interesting. Okay. One of them we need a pack a punch to gun for. So I guess we'll save up for that next. Oh, looks like my gun is almost out of ammo. Do I risk it? What did I... Oh, what? It spawned a keeper who gave me a free dead shot. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll still take it. Wow. Thank you. What a what a legend. I got absolutely terrified because it just made like an explosion sound, you know. I thought I was gonna die. As far as I'm aware, there's no shield on this map, but who knows? Double points. Let me know down in the comments section below. What is your favorite horror game of all time? I don't think I've asked that before. More specifically, which FNAF is your favorite? Or do you just not care for FNAF at all? Which, you know, fair enough. I personally love the franchise. Like zombies, it has its ups and downs, but I mean, it's hard to fault it. It's always been a positive aspect of my life. I guess I'll pack a punch for Tommy Gun. I mean, I'd, I'd prefer to pack a punch something different, but it's literally right here on the wall, so. Ooh, this is a cool looking camo, like green and glitchy. So this is a two, this is a one now. Danger. What's gonna happen? Do I have to be like inside or something? I'm terrified now. I can see spring traps that'll glow through the wall. I thought the police turned up but just disappeared. Nice. Useful as ever. I've got a literal undead horde chasing me down and a serial killer animatronic just chilling over here. Oh, I've had two. I've had one good, one bad. And what's this? A monkey. Oh! Oh, an upgraded monkey bomb that could arguably be bad if i didn't you know if i wanted to like save a zombie but that's pretty cool oh god i've had i've had good ones okay oh okay it just exploded me i'm fine all right what is, what's gonna happen am i going to die it's me oh god is freddy spawning in is it spring trap i'm horrified what's happening oh no what's going on <laughs> Okay. Oh, the zombies are like super sprinting now, I think. Okay, it's fine. I have I have an insta case run out. Ooh, what's going on? Oh shit. Oh shit! I'm assuming I just go through the round as usual and it's fine. Oh my god, what is what's that? Soul box? Well we did it. <laughs> Jesus, that was horrifying. Ah, so it's every like five rounds. Fair enough. Let's actually do step four next, which is the cupcakes. So I already saw them around the map. I should really wait until I have one zombie left, to be honest. Hello, giant barn in the distance. Was that always always in like the FNAF 3 location? This cornfield really reminds me of... You guys ever play FNAF Help Wanted, the first one, with the uh, the Halloween update? That's the kind of vibe I'm getting, with the uh, ignited foxy thing. Okay, so we've got a cupcake here. Boom, that's one. There was another one over here. And then the last one was over here. There we go. I have a door going out the back. You know, I'll actually open that. <gasps> oh, I almost had a double. Well, that's sad. Oh, I got a max at least. I mean, I suppose that makes up for it. Okay, one of the steps says arcade button masher. Apparently in the arcade, there are two cabinets that have blue buttons on them. Shoot with an upgraded weapon in the following order. Top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Two cabinets. Okay, this is the arcade area. I mean, cabinets, where? Oh, I think they mean the actual like, oh, these. So top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Ooh. Oh God, did I do it? I'll just do it again, just in case. Okay, so if I get it wrong, I have to wait till the next round. I'm just going to assume that it worked, but who knows? Oh yeah, I mentioned that there were Doom guns in the box. So I mean, why have I not spun it yet? I don't know. Screw it, let's see what we get. I can please go in there and pick it up. I got, of course I got a sniper. It's just always the way, isn't it? Now I'm stuck in, in the halls of hell. I'll open this door, screw it. Totally forgot about the soul box. So I mean, let's just, let's get some kills by it. Oh, never mind. What? I swear it had like a red glow last time I killed zombies near this. Let's see if I can make a crawler out of these three zombies. Pretty please. Like, there's three of you. Okay, I was gonna say. Outlaw, get killed. We only got a few left. I'm trying to no scope. <laughs> nice, good job, me. Pew. All right, to the arcade. Please, zombie, don't die out. Top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Hey, I got the sound. Let's go. We did it. Here for a celebratory spin in the box. Can I just say the orange lighting looks insane? I saw one of the Doom weapons. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. I 
the Einhorn Revolving. Was this from Vanguard Zombies? I think it was, you know. Hey, I'm not one to judge. It's kind of cool. KN57. Honestly, I'll take it. Always loved the KN44. I barely used the uh, the BO4 version. Let's go and buy Speed Cola. Okay, good. There's no perk limit. Or it's more than four, at least. So the next, we have a wall code in the spawn. If you guys remember FNAF 3's main Easter egg you're supposed to do, it's actually very faithful to it. I don't know where I'm going, dude. There we go. No, wrong way. This way. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> God, getting myself lost. So this little number pet, one of the weirdest Easter egg quests ever because it just doesn't seem right, but it's just so random. So this, these three down here, like this cube is nine digits. So three, nine, five, two, four, eight. Hey, we did it. Okay, and the very next step is going to be an onslaught of just a ton of zombies. So we'll get some more perks, get more set up, maybe pack a punch another gun. Where is his crawler at? Oh, I see you over there. <laughs> oh, and of course he drops an insta-kill. The slowest MF ever. Well, I don't know which one it is. I'm get Oh, it's this one. So yeah, we interact to play FNAF 2? Seriously? Oh, that's kind of cool. How many rounds have we got? We've got three until the uh, the super fast round. Let's see how the KN is unpapped. It's like a, oh my god, like a one-shot headshot? Are you serious? The BO4 guns, man. When ported onto BO3, they're kind of gross. Oh, trick or treat. What did I get? Oh, don't gr- um, Oh, you are serious. This is why I don't try my luck in any of these goddamn games. You always play it safe. Because you get trolled like that. Jesus. All right, Insta. Let's just, let's not die. Very simple concept, really. Just do not die. Another trick or I'm not risking it. I've got no perks. Oh, and of course, there's a nuke blocking me to get past. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Give me Jug. I'll quickly run in and get quick revive. Come on. Go, 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 go. Ah! Okay, double tap, and we're good. I honestly love this map. It's small, it's simple, aesthetically gorgeous, fits the horror vibe, it's fun, it's slightly challenging. Pretty much everything you could want in a zombies map, actually. All right, if I could get a double points, that would be really nice. Stop tempting me with the trick or treats, dude. I swear, sometimes it's the headless zombies that just keep running at me like that one. Just... They, they catch you off guard. I think we want stamina up just because of that crazy round that's going to happen very soon. Oh, that's the round. So yeah, why stam? Have exactly enough for speed cola as well. I really like the perk icons, actually. And the health being like the power is a nice touch. Also, sorry if my voice and my commentary is, uh, is not up to par as usual. I've been... Oh, let's go. Double points. I've been recording this like 50... Five minute. It's not going to be that long, but that's how long I was talking. It's going to be a different kind of video for this channel, but something I'm very passionate about and I just wanted to get off my chest. It's kind of relating to zombies in its entirety. I don't normally do sort of like opinionated content, but I don't know. I think you guys will really enjoy it, actually. All right, we have enough for a, hopefully a couple box spins and a pack a punch. Oh, and a max. Let's go. Okay, let's spin the box. You know, I might actually just say screw it and try the FNAF 2 minigame because we might just die and lose all our progress instead. What we getting? What we getting? What we getting? Mm, oh, I don't really want to keep this gun, though. Do I trick or treat it? Oh, screw it. I lost 500 points. You know, that actually settles it. I will. I'll, I'll pack a punch this then. Goddamn troll game. Okay, but the camo makes every gun look sick, to be fair. Oh god, move. One zombie, don't you dare down me. All right. Play FNAF 2. What's up? Hello, cute little plushies. So I'm guessing I just have to stay in here and survive the onslaught in front of me. Oh god. I'm terrified already. So this is like the final step of the Easter egg, but we just have to try and survive. I mean, the Tommy gun has a decent bit of ammo. Oh boy. It's fine. Just keep on top of things. It's a good thing I got speed cola as well. It's actually kind of hard to see the zombies. This is... Whew. Oh my god, it's like 8-bit as well. We have to survive for quite a while, I'm assuming. Probably like a couple minutes. Oh god, it's already getting a little bit... Ooh, stressful steps like this always uh, freak me out. I do low-key like them. <laughs> I can't wait for the next FNAF movie, the FNAF 2 movie. The first one was amazing, I loved it. Oh god, oh god zombies, please. Oh, there's so many spawning... Oh, we got, oh, we did it. Ah, we got the little 8-bit Freddy mask. Apparently that means we've beaten the Easter egg. That's awesome. Now my next goal is going to be, why did the perks go off? Is that normal? It's me. Oh, the round ended. You can't buy perks and the power fully turns off on this round. <laughs> that, that's horrifying. Okay, fair enough. Now we have the souls. I don't know what this is. I guess I will 
somehow try and train? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Never mind. Oh, fuck, 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 fuckity fuck. I'm somehow alive. Oh, my... Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. This is... This is next level! What is happening? <laughs> Let's try this gun. I don't even know how good it is, but... So, what am I filling up here? What's this for? It's got like a free weapon easter egg, maybe? Very interesting. What do you want, pumpkin? They're all like sparking. Makes me wonder if there's some kind of connection. I just realized, isn't that the uh, the killer hook from Dead by Daylight? I've not played the game myself, but I've seen people play it. I think I was watching Astral Spiff play the mobile version. And yeah, no, that just looks like the exact same hook. Like when they put you on that as the killer or whatever. Which is a nice little uh, addition. I love references to other games just randomly thrown in when it's not expected. How is it only one? Wave 16. Jesus Christ. Is it... <laughs> Time flies, huh? This death machine is a goddamn beast. I feel like this map has so many hidden Easter eggs. That, that thing is probably part of it. The, uh, the hook. Let's pick up some more perks, though. I mean, I don't even have a, an explosive weapon, but PhD's cool, I guess. Uh, where's mule... Mule kick, mule kick, mule kick. Somewhere. There we go. I could have literally just walked in there, lol. Oh, just look at that moon, though. The lighting. Why did I not play this map sooner? <laughs> Why did I not revisit this? Dumb decisions. That's what I'm king for, I guess. Just hope we don't have a stupid death again. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is our last quick revive. Okay, this gun's actually not too bad. It's got, like, no recoil. I do want to spin the box, though. Let's get down to one zombie. We do have mule kick now as well. I got a teddy, of course. And it's playing with the, the Freddy laugh, Lamau. Oh, God, hello. To be fair, maybe it'd be in a better spot for me to spin the box. I wonder if there's a viable ending anywhere. As far as I can see, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, the box is literally right here. Perfect. Monkey bombs. Okay. <laughs> Every time I actually want a gun, I get, like, the special equipment, which I can't complain at because it's great. <gasps> what is that? Shoot above the zombies. Oh my goodness. This is there's a thing from Doom. And I know I'm uncultured. I don't actually know the name of it. Oh, the big fucking gun. Yes, of course. I was going to call it the BFG, but I didn't want to sound like an idiot. What does this do? What? Okay, that might be the coolest weapon I've ever seen in zombies, to be honest. Springtrap, do you want to try me, bro? I'll fucking destroy you. I haven't even pack-a-punched it yet. What What could possibly happen to it? Also, I love that the mule kick perk icon becomes just green to know which weapon is your mule kick weapon. Wow, what a concept. Such a simple addition that's actually so good. I shouldn't have opened all these doors. It makes training a little bit more difficult. Here we go, though. We've got, like, a full horde. What's this going to do? Oh! <laughs> Gone. That is hilariously overpowered. Dear God. Who would have thought the FNAF 3 Zombies map is one of the coolest I've ever seen? I mean, I obviously love FNAF anyway, so me more than most people who play this, I, I appreciate it for the fact that it's a recreation of one of my favorite, well, I wouldn't say favorite games, because FNAF 3 is probably like my least favorite in the franchise, but actually no, let's be honest, FNAF AR, the Who Mega LOL game. What other guns are going to be in this box? Because I see a Reagan Mark II. I mean, that would be nice as well. The SG-12. Eh, I don't think anything can beat this, to be honest. Whoever was responsible for coding this into zombies, you're a goddamn legend. All right, here we go. Boom! <laughs> I, I don't even have words. Like, what's a more powerful phrase than overkill, I guess? Like, we've got the Zwei hand. I'll actually take that. A bit of a beast of an LMG. It doesn't just overkill the zombies, it like decimates them into a different universe. What is that? A B3 wingman. I mean, I was gonna keep the uh the Zweihander, but this looks like it's from I wanna say Doom as well. It reminds me of the Marshall a bit from uh Zetsubo no Shima in Black Ops 3. It's kind of cool. I like it. I guess it's like a shotgun pistol almost. Let's go and pack a bunch it. Not often you get to see completely unique weapons. Oh, what? <gasps> it fires an actual orb that goes through them. Ah, that's why the hint was shoot above. I thought that was because like if you shoot too low, it just won't deal damage. Also, did I just shoot that zombie and it explode? Or something so tiny, this, this seems to pack a punch. Do we have any more Doom weapons in here? Because I would happily swap out a speakeasy. M901 Mastiff. I want to say this is unique. I don't remember seeing this ever. I just realized I still haven't... Oh, <gasps> it does explode. Oh, God. I'm... I'm good. Oh, it's like a fire gun. Ah, I like that. Got a cool sound effect. I want to pack a punch the BFG. 
So if I shoot above, yeah, as soon as it impacts with a zombie, it will kill them. It's kind of like, you guys remember that exo zombies, what is it, the, uh, the limbo wonder weapon? It's like that mixed with, I don't know, the explosion you get after the apothecan servant finishes, like doing its shot. Just, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! Well, pack a punch time. How much cooler could this possibly get? We'll see. Because, who knows? Oh, it's orange too. The big fucking gun. Yes, it is. Well, we're going to use it on the next round. Which I'm low-key terrified at because it's the uh, the big spooky. But let me just quickly go and buy Deadshot. Not like I need it with a fucking absolute d decimation weapon, but it's me. Okay, come on. Bring it on, bitches. Okay, I'm still kind of terrified because they run incredibly fast, though. All right. God, why does so many spawn? Why does so many spawn? Ugh. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's a guy there now. What? Interesting. I don't know what that's about, but... Oh, God, it's just so sick. Oh, I don't even have words. I accidentally shot too close then. So what, are, what, are, what is... What's this, what's this for? Max ammo. Oh, I have to go and find an orb that looks like the one that was filling up the souls. And once I find that, I have to shoot it with a pack-a-punched gun. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I have absolutely no fucking idea where it's going to be, but who knows? I'm actually going to open this debris. God, is it going to be like outside the map somewhere? Hidden in plain sight, probably? This is apparently just some kind of side quest for, I think, a melee weapon. So, I mean, I'll try and find it, but I'm not going to try too hard. I love guns that shoot and turn the zombies on fire. Such a cool, cool idea. Oh, <laughs> look at that zappy gun. My brain is just melting right now. Ooh. Even the death machine is an absolute machine. Well, it's in the name, but you know, ideally I keep one zombie and look for this, uh, the orb thing, but I'm having so much fun just killing the zombies. At its core, that is what zombies is all about. So also, I think we are missing maybe one or two perks. Who knows? Let's just... Oh, where could it be? Where could it be? you would think maybe in the cornfield would be a spawn for it. Oh, we've still got a few left. As I'm somehow missing every shot. Oh, it exploded the zombie. That's just brilliant, that is. God damn it. Okay, anyway. Anywhere in this room. I can't play the FNAF 2 game again, which is a shame, but I suppose I understand. You'd think somewhere like in here would be a perfect place for it. The office maybe, but unless... Is it not full? I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Ah, who fucking knows? Just shoot this. <laughs> Oh my god, just and the explosion after, even though it killed literally nothing. Honestly, yeah, I'll just go for some more spins. I don't really want to swap out anything, but who knows? I, I Teddy, of course. Typical. All right, BFG time. Ooh. <laughs> it even kills the ones over here. They're like miles away. All right, are you the last? See that the, uh, the top of the thing's on fire, which is cool. Obviously, if you don't know the lore of FNAF 3, that is kind of what happens at the end of the, the game. Always ends up being a fire. Oh, here's the box in a really awkward spot. Apparently, it can spawn on the top of a telephone pole, but it's not there. I hope it's not one of those things where we have to see it when it's in the rampage and do some mode thing, because then I'll just not... <laughs> I'm just wasting all this time. One of the spawns is at the silo over there. How am I supposed to see that, dude? I suppose it's possible I already shot it with this BFG, because it does massive AOE damage so also apparently you have to do it three times okay ah i see it it's in the distance over there what's up boy okay boing boing where did that just go over here whoa <laughs> it's so fast okay, i think it's inside somewhere looked like it went to this barrier no i don't know how i missed that to be honest oh god phd that scared the shit out of me <laughs> I forget that it procs from falling uh, sometimes. Okay, this is quite difficult to actually find. I'm going to assume it's over there somewhere. Because I, I, I swear I've looked everywhere else. By the silo. How am I... I can't see that, dude. I kill the zombie with PhD. Genius job me. On the stone fence by the... Uh, over here, apparently, is one of the spawns. Trying to look for where it would be. I'm not seeing it, though. Oh, God, hello. Unless maybe it spawns next round. I'm dead. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and I've got a trick or treat. Screw it. I'll get it. Maybe it'll give me a perkaholic. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. No, it exploded me. I lost my BFG. No. Oh, that's just tragic. Oh, my God. I'm just... I think I'm dead. I got a... <gasps> I got a Reagan Mark II from the... How lucky is that? 
What the fuck? Like, yeah, sure, it's not the BFG, but I was expecting the game to just be done and dusted there. And thankfully, we have a ton of points. I have monkeys. Why do I always forget that I have monkeys? <laughs> oh, give me stamina up. There's that juggernaut. Pew, 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 pew. I almost downed myself with the splash of the Mark II. I swear that's almost impossible to do. Good job, me. God, so many crawlers. Speed cola. I wanted to come over here and check if it was in the same spot, but it's not. Oh my God, they're like all fucking crawlers now. Jesus. Okay, at least the... Look at the fire damage, dude. That's OP. What are we going to get from this? Um... It spawned a zombie. Okay. What about this one? Another zombie. Really? Oh, I found it. It's over there. I don't know if that was always there or I'm blind or what, but let me uh, let me quickly shoot it with a... Oh, I think you have to do it with a pack-a-punch gun, don't you? Okay, shoot. I... Oh, God. It's hard to aim with this thing, dude. Why is it not working? I... Hello? <gasps> One thing. <gasps> Wait. Oh, hello, Reagan Mark II camo. I'm wondering if we buy Mule Kick again. Are we going to get our weapon back? That would be awesome. Here we go. Let's find out. Come on. Bless me. No! Oh, I was hoping. All right, so can you please just let me... Oh, it's a full auto ray gun. There we go. I actually shot it now. It was just a bit buggy in that spot, I guess. Where's it going to go? Oh, I see it. I'm watching. Boing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why is it moving so much? Holy fuck. Oh, it's up there now. Cool. All right. Shoot it. Hello. Please. I beg. Dude. I wish I had a more accurate gun. I love the Reagan Mark II, but surely I could just shoot it with this. All right, that's it. I'm buying a gun. <laughs> I'm buying a gun to get out the box to shoot a freaking... Oh, I got it back. Let's go. The beast is back in town. Okay, this should be able to shoot it. Kaboom! Nope, it actually failed. <laughs> Am I missing something? Do I have to wait till the next round? Like, bro, I'm going to go out with all my ammo. I don't know what else to do. I picked up a death machine. Well, I mean, you need to have a pack-a-punched weapon, but I suppose I can spray it with this. No, it doesn't do it. Oh, God. All right, I suppose I'll go for some spins. We'll get rid of the Elder Flame. It's a cool cool weapon, but hello. I, I swear I spun the box. I guess I'll just BFG it. Come on, give me anything. A Galil, I'll take it. Kind of doo-doo now, but it's uh, when pack-a-punched. Hopefully. Kaboom! <laughs> That will never get old. Let's throw down another monkey. Watch how absolutely insane this gun is. Here we go. <laughs> they never stood a chance, dude. It's the fact that it keeps on going as well. Oh, I think we're going to get the uh, the special round next round. I'm kind of scared for that. Speaking of which, oh fuck. Well, here we go. Can I please shoot this now? Like instantly. Why did that, why did it work that time, huh? Okay, now apparently it's gonna fly back to the um, the original hook, supposedly. I mean, I have to sacrifice a pack-a-punched weapon? Are you serious? I guess I'll pack-a-punch the Galil. I mean, sacrifice the Galil. Oh God. Speaking of sacrifice, ooh, please. I think I should be fine. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> Weapon is a goddamn machine. I think these rounds are kind of shorter, unless I'm tripping out. Just the fact that all the perks are off as well. Like, like if I did go down and had quick revive, I just wouldn't be able to uh, to do anything. <laughs> what? What even was that, dude? Oh my god. That's the round. And a max. Oh, you, it's a, it counts as a max ammo round. Ah. And apparently we do need to shoot it one more time. And I didn't see where it was. Oh, it's literally right there. Awesome. Is it going to go back here now, pretty please? Hey, there we go. Oh, it played the Michael Myers stinger. Okay, so now we sacrifice a weapon. Become evil incarnate. Oh, <gasps> I get the Michael Myers knife thing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it doesn't actually take up a weapon slot. And is it a one hit? It actually is. Okay. And it's like a, it's a, sli a side swipe. So it can kill multiple zombies, not just one at a time. That's really cool. Okay. An actually worthwhile Easter egg. And then go to the BFG. <laughs> it, it like attract it like the uh, I can't even speak. Stuttering. Jesus. I was gonna say the electric sword attaches to the zombies. I'm so infatuated. I forgot I had a Reagan Mark II. But it's fully auto. The uh, the Alpha Omega variants. I guess. Wonder if it has an upgrade quest. Probably not. But still, 
I like that it's full auto. I mean, I, I like the burst version too, but it's just a nice change, you know? So, I mean, I think that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. We've kind of explored everything, I think. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> My God.